Hello everybody, Hassan here, engineer, MBA, and investor. In today's video, I want to talk about Ethereum and the latest changes in Ethereum 2.0, which really focuses on proof of stake. Now, before we do that, guys, please like this video, please subscribe. If you have any comment, any feedback, any questions, any concern, leave it in the comments below. We try to answer every single comment out there. So. In this channel, guys, we promote three verticals, right? Whether that's genomics, whether that's energy, and whether that's crypto. Now, obviously, Ethereum is focused on crypto, but it also addresses the energy side of things, right? Not just Ethereum, but other cryptocurrencies as well. Now, this blog article, this was posted literally yesterday, and its title is IA Countries Worth of Power No More. And this was on Ethereum Foundation blog. This is an official blog here from Ethereum. Now, I won't go into the specifics of what Ethereum is compared to other cryptocurrencies and so on, but just know that it is decentralized. It is more of infrastructure. Bitcoin, other such as Doge, those, those have different use cases. Those are for different purposes. Ethereum is really an infrastructure. Think of like the uh, TCP slash uh, IP, um, infrastructure right where companies where apps where the uh, decentralized apps can be built upon and this is already being done on the markets right now we have many apps built on the ethereum foundation so just know that that's what ethereum really is now really this article could be summarized the fact that ethereum will use at least 99.95 less energy post merge post merge meaning ethereum 2.0 once once pos comes about proof of stake versus the legacy way of doing things which is proof of work which bitcoin dogecoin and other cryptos still use now ethereum used to use still uses proof of work but eventually it will move to proof of stake this has been in for years it was on the roadmap everyone knew about it so nothing new here but obviously because of elon musk twist in the recent days recent week and how tesla stopped bitcoin transactions because of the energy usage this has been a big topic again right this is a this has been going for years right to how cryptocurrencies energy is inefficient uh, However, I find that extremely unfair to say. You can watch our previous video why that is the case. Hint, hint. Many of the legacy institutions that Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptos are literally tackling use much more energy than cryptocurrencies. Think about the manpower. Think about the infrastructure. Think about all the resources, all that, right? But anyways, what the, this article really talks about, and I will link the article in the comments below, but really, really what this article links is that you can see here the estimated power consumption with Bitcoin being the orange line, Ethereum proof of work, which is how it's being done right now and in the past, and how it's going to be done post-merge in POS. And you can see here as a representation that the power consumption of Ethereum POS is way, way, way more efficient than Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, proof of work. Now, obviously, these are estimates. These were done through some some uh, some data that the the blogger here he implemented. He had some uh, maths here. He put some mathematics here. He computed some of the numbers, and he really went um, high level. But he still, I I still think he did a great job explaining and breaking down this information here. What's really interesting is this line here, right? Proof of stake Ethereum therefore consumes something on order of two point sixty two megawatt. This is not on the scale of countries, provinces, or even cities, but that of a small town, about 200, 2,100 American homes, right? This is obviously re making reference to how proof of work, which is how many cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, including Ethereum right now, are using, right, are based on. And this is extremely, extremely energy inefficient in terms of what... POS proof of stake can provide, right? Don't forget the legacy institutions outside of the crypto world, gold mining, you know, fiat currency, banks, institutions, all the manpower, all the resources. It they use way more energy than what proof of work cryptocurrencies would be using. But again, innovation, 
but you always want to improve your innovation. You always want to go forward. And ultimately, you know, legacy media has driven this narrative that until energy and efficiency is an issue with cryptocurrencies, cryptocurrencies will never really grow to a point. I, we in this channel, including myself, we totally disagree with this. Uh, we think this is just a narrative legacy media is driving to really wage war against cryptocurrencies between each other. But in reality, that is not the real enemy, right? Ethereum versus Bitcoin is not the real topic, right? This shouldn't be the real topic. This is just legacy media driving that narrative. So be aware of this, guys. And then they put some comparisons here. This is just obviously uh, a fun comparison here with the Burj Khalifa. If Burj Khalifa was Bitcoin, you know, proof of work, Ethereum would be the leaning tower of Pisa in Italy. And then a screw would be the Ethereum POS, which obviously this is a uh, an uh, enormous difference, right? It just if you could visualize the difference in, in terms of energy consumption. So I'm extremely bullish on POS. I'm extremely bullish on Ethereum 2.0. I think this is great for the space. I think it's great for uh, the world. And ultimately, I think it's going to drive innovation. Uh, Ethereum, we've always been bullish in this channel, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, even Dogecoin, Litecoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Don't let net legacy media drive a certain narrative for you guys. Do your own research. Be aware. Read information like this. Read blogs like this. Try to understand what's going on in, in the world. Try to understand what's going on in the crypto world. I think it'll definitely help you. There's many engineers working on this every single day, every single hour, every single minute. Uh, not just in Ethereum, but on other cryptocurrencies as well. It's great opportunities inside, but ultimately you need to have that information on hand. You need to do your own research to build conviction. So hopefully this helped you guys. So again, this was a quick video on how Ethereum 2.0 energy is going to radically change the space. A lot of people are looking forward for this. Again, that doesn't mean Bitcoin is less a value that it should be. We shouldn't be comparing Ethereum versus Bitcoin. We shouldn't put in that narrative. Let legacy media do that for their own audience. But for people that are aware, people that are doing research, try to understand what's going on in this space. That's what we do in this channel. We provide information so that you can run away with it and share it with friends, family, and investors. So hopefully that helped you guys a little bit here. Uh, a little bit technical, but it's still important. Maybe in a future video, we'll break down in terms of proof of work, POS, maybe break down what Ethereum really is in terms of technical terms and compare it maybe with Bitcoin, how it is being, uh, how its source code is, and maybe with Dogecoin and other cryptos. So hopefully that helped you guys. If it did, like this video, guys. Please subscribe and we'll see each other in the next video. Thank you very much. Have a great, great day. Thank you.